Today, I'm going to compare the most popular VR games with their best free alternatives. While they might not be just as good as the originals, they should give you a somewhat similar experience for free. I'm also giving away a bunch of paid games as well as some other stuff. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed and comment down below. I've covered this topic in the past, but since then, new and even better alternatives have been released and I thought it would be worth making an updated version. That's what happened at least with the first free alternative in today's list, Boneworks. Well, I guess technically it's an alternative for Bone Lab since it's on the Quest Store. Anyways, it's a game called Downshot. Downshot is a physics-driven sandbox game with spawnable weapons, multiple maps, and in-game mods. It even has multiplayer, which is something Bone Lab doesn't even come with. In the past, I've recommended Physics Playground as an alternative, but that requires side quest, whereas Downshot you could get directly off the quest store. Next up in the list, I'm going to give you two alternatives at the same time. One is for everyone's favorite dungeon crawler, Dungeons of Eternity, and the other is for everyone's favorite physics-driven combat game, Blade and Sorcery. The first is the Battle Talent demo. If I'm being honest, I actually prefer it to not only Dungeons of Eternity and Blade and Sorcery, but also the newer, paid, full version of itself. Battle Talent is a physics-driven sword fighting game that offers fighting in both a seamless dungeon and a enclosed arena. There's in-game parkour mechanics that allow you to run on walls or swing across gaps, and even a progression system that allows you to level up both yourself and your weapons. When it comes to fighting, there are swords, bows, and guns. There's even in-game mods and boss battles. The fighting is extremely gruesome and the gameplay is very addictive. The other free alternative is a game called Grimlord. It's also a physics-driven combat game with a loop style of gameplay. And it's not as good as the Battle Talent demo, but since it's free, I figured it wouldn't hurt to include in the list. Technically, it's called Grimlord Free Demo, but it's more of a beta for the developers to work out bugs while they port their game over from PC VR to standalone hardware. If you enjoy getting jump scared, I have two free alternatives to Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. The first is a fan-made VR remake of Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location, a flat screen title that released back in 2016. I personally hate being jump scared so I haven't played it but according to the reviews it's pretty good. That could be downloaded on SideQuest but if you don't have SideQuest the other free alternative is a game called Polar Dread and that could be downloaded directly off the Quest Store. While neither are officially licensed both of them should give you an equally terrifying experience for free. Next up, I have a pretty decent multiplayer shooter that works as a great free alternative to Contractors, Pavlov, Onward, Alvo, or the hundred of other paid options available in the Quest Store. It's a game called Aim XR, and it's surprisingly good. While the mechanics can feel a bit odd at first, I ended up having a lot of fun with it. The gameplay consists of 5v5 matches, and while you can play against bots, whenever I went online there were tons of full servers and I had no problem getting into a game. You can even host a LAN and play against family or friends using the same Wi-Fi network. This is the alpha version of the game and I wouldn't be surprised if they started charging for it soon, so I would definitely recommend downloading it for free while you still can. Next up on the list is a great free alternative to Rocket League and Knock. It's a game called Ultimex. Ultimex puts you inside of a mech robot that has rocket powered fists which you use to hit the game ball into your goal. You could also control the rocket fist with your arms while they're in the air, so it takes a lot of skill to master, but it's also a very fun game once you get the hang of it. It's also built by Resolution Games, who if you're not aware of, is one of the biggest VR studios out there. They're responsible for a ton of big titles like Demio, Blaston, Racket Club, and more. One of their other games is actually included in this list as well. A free alternative to real VR fishing. Real VR Fishing is known as the best VR fishing game out there. It has mind-blowing graphics as well as great fishing mechanics and a ton of other stuff, but it does cost 20 bucks. If you don't mind having a more cartoonish experience, then Bait is the next best fishing game and it's completely free. In Bait you have 8 different lakes that you could fish on, over 60 types of fish you could catch, 
there's multiplayer that you could play with up to four friends, and there's a ton of mini games as well that make it so you might even prefer it to real VR fishing. Next up I have a free alternative to Assetto Corsa or Grid Legends. I'll admit it, this one is a bit of a stretch, but if you ignore the graphics and you just focus on the gameplay itself, V Speedway is a great alternative racing game. I know some people might think that that comparison is laughable, but V Speedway has probably the best VR racing mechanics. While it's definitely on the more simple side, you still get the rush of racing a car, and thanks to the intuitive controls and just overall high quality mechanics, it's incredibly immersive. If I missed anything you think I should have included, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.